There are unseen energies all around us. We cannot see these energies, yet their effect on us is undeniable. While it's entirely possible to believe that the world governments have united to deceive us all into believing the globe we live on isn't actually flat, or that the moon circling our saucer isn't made of cheese, no one would be taken seriously if they claimed the unseen force we call gravity didn't exist. This is despite the fact that no one alive nor dead has ever held gravity in their hands. Gravity holds us in its grip, yet we cannot hold gravity in ours. Every year, birds and butterflies migrate vast distances by sensing a magical, hidden force we have named the magnetic field. This unseen force's most important task 
is holding photographs of our loved ones on our refrigerators. But it also does the mundane task of painlessly slicing through our bodies to provide diagnostic data for doctors to accurately locate the source of what ails us. Certainly magnetism and the magnetic field can't be denied despite the best efforts of the anti-magnet groups. For over 100 years, we have enslaved Googleplex of tiny invisible creatures into servitude. We have large farms where we force birth these creatures. We send these creatures down vast networks connecting every part of our flat earth. Billions of our resources are spent inventing ways to keep more of these creatures in even smaller holding cells for longer times. Will no one stand in defense of the electrons we have imprisoned without a trial? No, because the electric force is unseen and its voice unheard. Of course, it's entirely possible that centillions upon centillions of electrons provide light on demand and power to our massage chairs, all out of a sense of duty towards us. Or perhaps they have fallen under the influence of the immeasurable and unseeable force of love. Who really believes something so crazy? Love certainly isn't powerful enough to do that, is it? Yet this unseen force, and its evil brother hate, has a grip on us considerably stronger than gravity. Heck, the slight push of a weak hand can easily repel gravity. But even the most powerful space rockets used to harvest cheese from the moon lack the power to counteract love and hate. Love locks us into decade-long relationships and tricks us into a life of servitude raising helpless clones of ourselves. We much like the electrons held prisoners in our pocket, cannot escape the bonds of love nor the chains of hate. Yet love and hate cannot be seen nor measured. Do they really exist? How are these invisible forces surrounding us so powerful? And why do they help some of us while hurting others? Can they be reasoned with? Is gravity willing to even consider a peace treaty to end the war it wages with us? What would we do if electrons unionized against us? Or what if magnetism decided to go on strike? Maybe, just maybe, if we are lucky, these forces are all just another conspiracy similar to the lie so many believe about there being no such thing as color. Of course there are colors. Despite all the convincing evidence against the existence of colors, the orange and yellow moon cheeses sitting on my dinner table right now are enough to make me a believer. I suppose no amount of evidence to the contrary can change a belief. Perhaps belief is the strongest unseen power. Or is it time? We seem to never have enough time. And sometimes we have so much time that we need to kill it. But how can we kill something we can't even see? Is time even real? Hmm. Now that I think about it, only the invisible power of belief is strong enough to create the illusion of time. Ah. Where do these forces start and end? And why can't I see them? I suppose we're all delusional. Good night. 
See you tomorrow. If that even exists. <laughs>